Hello everyone, welcome to my video. This is Chris and today we're going to talk about how to add watermark on your images using Photoshop. So let's begin. Let's open the Photoshop 2020. Now this process can also be done in the previous version of Photoshop. So you can either use Photoshop CS6 or Photoshop CC. Okay, so this is the Photoshop. Now one thing before you begin, I want you to do something first. Go to edit and then look for preferences and then click this workspace. Okay. Now this workspace, um, there is a several option that you can see. Now one thing that I want you to do first is to uncheck this option here. Open documents as tabs. Now as a default, Photoshop is automatically gonna turn this on, okay? But in my case, I always love floating, okay, documents. So uncheck that and then click okay. That's all you need to do. The next steps is, let's go ahead and open a sample. Okay, so this is the sample. As you can see, here is the logo. Okay, this is, a, this is an event that we had um, yesterday. Okay, so um, I've added some also, this one. All right, we're gonna add now another picture. So let's go ahead and click open or control O. Let's look for um, a best photo here. Maybe this one. One. Oh, there's already like a watermark in there. Um, let's see. This one. One. Two. Three. And four. Just four maybe we'll do. And then let's click open. This is I what I was telling you that, you know, turning off the tab open, this is what will you see every time you open a document inside Photoshop. All right, now the next steps that we need to do is to look for the logo or the watermark that you wanted to put into the image. So let's go to desktop and I'm gonna locate the file. So I've got here the logo somewhere here. Okay, here we go. So this is the logo. I made it myself. Okay, now once everything in place, the next step is you need to go to window and click action or you can, you know, do the, the shortcut key Alt F9 and it will bring out the action palette okay the next steps is sometimes uh, as default in Photoshop this is showing like that it shows like that so you just need to click this um, little down arrow okay, to hide all of the available actions and then what we need to do is to click this little icon here to create a new folder set so we're gonna name it watermark and then click OK. Next is we're going to now create a new action. So for me, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to name it Action 1 and then click Record. So what will happen here is, here is everything you do in Photoshop, it will automatically be recorded, okay? And then you can repeat the process once you've done recording everything you do inside Photoshop. So now this is an indication that the process is now being recording. Okay, this little red icon here. Next steps is you need to do Control A or select all. Okay, you can see the marquee. And then next is click edit or copy or Control C. Okay, see this? It's recording. The next thing that you need to do is to select this um, documents behind the logo, okay, and then click edit and then click paste, okay, 
me. And then after you've done that, you can now go to edit and then transform or you can do control T. Okay. All right. So let's try to do a shortcut key, control T. It's the same. And now you can drag it. Okay. Anywhere you want it to place the watermark. Okay. Just like that maybe. All right. Now if you're happy with that, just simply hit the enter okay in your keyboard or you can do the check mark here available on the top the next steps is you we, we need to lower down the opacity here in this option here you can just simply click and drag it and as long as you know um, it's up to you for me I'm okay with 51% and then once I'm happy with that we can now merge all the layer into one image to do that you can go to layer and then merge down or control E okay what will happen here in the layer is that it will shrink down into one layer all the image that we do work in this document and now what we need to do is control W or close it okay or click file or save automatically so control w is closed meaning if you close this it will ask you to save before closing so in my case i love to save it as it is so i'll go ahead and click yes and then click ok for the last option now just to set your expectation that when you save it okay it will not gonna be editable anymore okay what I mean is editable is that you can no longer remove the watermark from that picture okay because we've saved it not unless if you wanted to uh, make a copy then you have an option to save as versus you do save automatically but in my case I'm happy to save it because I want that logo to be there you know forever so that's my option but it's up to you now look at that these are the action that I made just to add the watermark now since I've saved it I can now click this stop button to stop the recording okay now here's the thing you do not need to do any more those process that you did a while ago but instead what you need to do this time is to click this action and play Okay, click play boom the picture behind the logo is now gone but if you look at that photo here oh sorry that's not the one see it's already in there okay it's already in there now let's try to do the other three photos here let's remember this guy okay okay just need to click the play button that's all you need to do and then it's gone now let's go ahead and minimize and we're gonna look for that photo There he is. Look at that. The logo is already in the image. Where is the other one? Um, this one. There you go. All right. So that's how you do. Okay. Adding watermark. Okay. In just one click. You just only need to do one process, one time process, and then let the Photoshop do the work for you the next time you do the same process now just to set your expectation that this action cannot be applied to a different image especially the size and the resolution of the image it will not gonna affect the only reason why it only um, 
applies to this image because this picture was taken on a DSLR. So that means all this image has the same resolution and sizes. Okay. So before you do the same process, adding watermark, make sure that the multiple images should have the same sizes and resolution. Otherwise, you will not be having the same um, result. Okay, so that's only um, a reminder for, for you if you want to follow my steps. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, see you again the next time. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.